Gentlemen, thank you for this opportunity to address the Board of County Commissioners. My name is Peter Downey, 371 Pressure Road, Fort Townsend. I come to you today not in my capacity as Chair of the Planning Commission, but as a concerned shellfish farmer and small business owner. I wish to address you on the Department of Ecology's proposed rulemaking updating the WAC guidance for Shoreline Master Program for Aquaculture and the unprecedented attack and devastating effect this rule will have on shellfish aquaculture in Jefferson County. And I ask the county to provide comments on this proposed rule to help sway ecology's final document. While it's discouraging that ecology ignored practically every recommendation from the Shellfish Aquaculture Regulatory Committee when developing GUIDEC rules, what's most frightening is their proposed rewrite of policies governing, governing all aquaculture. <coughs> Under the proposed rule, ecology strips away, strips aquaculture of its historic water-dependent status and statewide interests, thereby disconnecting aquaculture with the protections provided by the legislature under the Shoreline Management Act. Then ecology proposes to do away with the no net loss language for aquaculture and replace it with a requirement that aquaculture not create any adverse impacts in critical areas. This is significant in that it holds aquaculture to a higher standard than any other activity in the shoreline. Under Jefferson County's Critical Areas Ordinance and proposed SMP update, all marine shorelines of the county are listed as critical areas. Jefferson County would need to rewrite its Critical Areas Ordinance and proposed SMP and negate critical area designation for shellfish beds, or Jefferson County would need to state that all existing shellfish farms are non-conforming uses, allow for no new shellfish farms of any kind in marine shoreline, and allow for no expansion of existing farms. If this rule is passed and Jefferson County does not update its critical areas ordinance, it will eventually end up in the take of bush or cow tidelands that were sold by the state specifically for shellfish aquaculture. The proposed rule for aquaculture uh, severely limits, and also for gooey duck aquaculture, severely limits entry. If these rules were in place eight years ago when I started my farm, I would not be able to comply and would have not attempted to start my farm. Moreover, ecology's small business impact analysis for this rule is woefully inadequate. Finally, provisions of the rule could be construed as to require all existing Guida farms to apply for a new permit under the rules. This is, more stringent, this is a more stringent provision than is required for any other activity. Without shellfish aquaculture, hundreds of living <coughs> jobs in the county will be lost. Water quality uh, testing and support of aquaculture will not happen. I urge the Board of County Commissioners to work with staff to review the proposed language and direct staff to craft a response for the Board of County Commissioners' signature. Uh, Comments are due October 18th. Uh, I would be happy to work with staff on such a response. Thank you for your time. Thank you. What was that date? October 18th. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else this morning? <laughs>